Good morning, lovies, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. Up here comes Petey. That's my partner, Petey. And I'm sitting in my car. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna drive over to the bins and I'm going to dig through giant blue bins of clothing and find things to sell on eBay and Poshmark. My bins is $3.49 per pound, which is expensive for a bins, but I still think I'm doing pretty good. So I'll show you some great things that I find there. I hope you'll learn some brands and styles that sell well online. And here we go. Okay, I've made it to the first round of the bins and I have a cart full of stuff that I have to sort through. Handful of stuff. There's a J. Jill sweater in there, but nothing too crazy. I definitely have to sort through. Um, there's nothing that I've grabbed so far that I'm like super excited about. So we will see how we are doing today. I should probably go sort before they do the next rotation. Alright, pretty slow going morning. Do I say that every week? I did find a couple great brands. Like this is a Toto Bolo brand, Faraday. And I'm trying to get it to focus. The light's probably not great. There we go. And there we don't there we go. Uh, this does have a little stain on the front. But I'm going to stain treat it right here. And if it doesn't come out. This is brand's good enough that I think I can still sell it. Um, they're getting ready to do another rotation, thank goodness, because I am struggling with not finding much at all today. I feel like it might have been like that last week too, but in the end it worked out, so hoping for the same today. Okay friends, I'm just home from the Goodwill Outlet bins. I made myself a little iced coffee and had some yogurt. Now I'm going to get into this haul. Everybody has been voting for longer bins hauls, so I'm going to try and go quick, but I'm going to make sure you learn some new brands, some different styles or keywords, so that it helps you in your own reselling business. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. I got one pair of shoes. Why I don't buy shoes anymore because they require extra work, extra cleanup, and I don't often do it. So I will pick up a shoe. I think I have two pairs of shoes in this haul. I'll pick up a pair of shoes if they need minimal cleanup. And then I bought these. <laughs> These need maximum cleanup, but I could not leave these behind because they're bloodstones. Bloodstones, these are probably $175 boots. Here's the tab that you wanna look for. Uh, these are dirty. They need to be cleaned up. I don't like cleaning them up. These are like a lot of people that work on farms, wear these, they're very expensive. These have some wear and stuff, but I figure I can still make some money on them. I don't want to put them on my nice white rug. So, oh, I just dropped them on the nice white rug. Moving right along. I got this fuzzy chenille sweater. I think I mentioned in the last video. This is by Hayden Los Angeles. I mentioned in the last video that I've, because I'm going to the bins and I'm getting quantity now, um, I do have a box started that's like a fall winter box that I'll list in like uh, end of August. This is chenille. So chenille is that fuzzy, almost velvety like material. This is an open knit oversized cardigan. This is lightweight and it's light color. So I might list that now. This I got for my handsome boyfriend, Petey to try on, it's Eddie Bauer which I have been picking up their like hiking camping clothes lately, but this is just a really nice flannel. So I'll put that in a separate pile. I found these two items at the very end and I was so happy because it was sort of a slow day and to find two really good items on the way out was a real perk. I don't know what, if someone threw this back or what, this is Garnet Hill. Garnet Hill is a women's expensive brand. It's kind of like soft surroundings or J Jill. 
this is a size four kind of a midi dress in this like natural oatmeal color has a three four sleeve with a little bow this brand is very expensive and has sold well for me so i'll probably list this dress about forty dollars these are just Knox Rose from Target, but I love this line, Knox Rose from Target, and it does sell. It's kind of like a boho line. And um, these are size medium jogger pants, and I think they might be like 10 cell Lyocell or something. Yeah, 100% Lyocell. Lyocell is a quality fabric, so there's all sorts of things when I'm sourcing for my reselling business that I'm thinking of. Usually brand is first for me. If it's a good brand, I'm probably picking up, but I also am looking at size, style, and material content. So I'm looking for things that are 10 cell lyocell. They're the same thing. They're interchangeable words, pretty much. Silk, Pima cotton, anything that's like a better uh, fabric, like linen, I'm looking for. And those are uh, lyocell jogger, so they'll st still do well. This is a brand I absolutely love. I don't find it that often. The brand is Poetry. And it, it's not a quick mover for me, but it sells for good money. So I just sold a pair of linen pants by this brand Poetry for $40. This is like a terracotta colored um, midi dress. It's button front, but the buttons are covered. It's 100% linen. It's a great color. Let me check the size real quick. If you're interested in anything from my hauls, by the time you guys see this, I hope it will all be listed. And below the video, in the little drop-down menu, is my store, my Poshmark closet, my eBay store, all the tools I use, any discount links. This is a size for poetry. So it's not like a quick, quick flip for me, but um, it's usually a good dollar flip. A good dollar flip, you know, it sells for a little bit more. This is the Banana Republic. I got it because it's an XL 100% cotton blazer. So it's kind of one of those like blazer sweaters. Nothing too crazy there. If there's something that I think I need to spend more time on with you, I definitely will give you the details, but I have so much that I might go through a little more quickly. This is Levi's. I love selling Levi's jeans and Levi's clothing. This is a men's XL polo shirt. That's probably a good $20 flip right there. I got some Chico's. I'm surprised I'm not finding more Chico's. Chico's too. And on their newer tags, see this is one of their newer tags. They're also putting the U.S. sizing that we're used to. So Chico does vanity. So they do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have to like convert it. But on the newer pieces they're putting like they're putting that this is a 2 which is a, a large. And this is like a turquoise. Oh, I actually really like this. Uh-oh, I hope it's not going in my closet. It's got the sheared um, adjustable sleeves here, gathered sleeves. And this is rayon and nylon. It feels kind of like linen-y though. Love that. Okay. I'm excited actually to go through this because if you're, if you're at the bins, you know it's fast and furious. You're grabbing things, you're checking them, you're waiting for the next rotation. So I'm throwing things in here. I do check for quality control, but it's fun to, to actually look at what I got. And I, ha I think I get a little anxiety at the bins, like I'm not finding good stuff. I'm not finding enough stuff. And then when I come home and look at the haul, in some, I think I've usually done pretty well. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is an XL blouse, floral chiffon blouse, really pretty. I recently opened an entire box of Ralph Lauren brands that I got from Helpsy Source. I really like this brand. My partner Petey has some stuff by them. The brand is weatherproof and I think it's sold at Macy's or something. Um, and this is a linen, men's linen white and blue top in a size large. I am loving, loving, loving everything linen right now. These are Zella, which is Nordstrom's house brand or Nordstrom rack. Size medium, Z for Zella. Fitness leggings. Look at that pop of color with that drawstring. And they have the side that's called a media pocket if they have a pocket on the side here. In my last haul, I pulled $20 out of the media pocket of some Fabletics. So that was exciting. Um, 
full length, but I'll put Media Pocket in my title because you can like put your cell phone in there and people like that. Who doesn't want a good place to put their cell phone? This is that brand again, Weatherproof, men's brand. This is probably like a, a, a flannel shirt. I love men's flannels that I'll put up there for $19.99 with shipping on eBay and then I'll have best offer and I might get like 15 and that's okay with me. This is probably the best piece I found. I've never found this brand. It's been on my bolo list. Not what I was hoping to find from the brand, but still Driftwood. Driftwood makes amazing denim. And this is like a, uh, it, it's a sweatshirt, a sleeveless sweatshirt. It's all distressed and it has like that, a chambray look. And look, this was at the Goodwill and no one bought it. Why not? Driftwood makes um, like heavily embroidered jeans that I just love. And they're like, they, they've they done collabs with free people. The jeans, when they collab with free people can be like $300. But around $150 the jeans are. This is a very cool top. And I was happy to find a really good brand. This needs a little bit of work. I don't love to bring home projects, but it's Angel of the North, which is an anthropology brand. And I think it's such a good piece by the brand Angel of the North. It's a long cardigan and it's a great mustard color, but it has pulls. See these pulls? So I have to get out my little sewing kit and there's like a little little tiny pulling tool and I just have to there's pull these threads in uh, the other way but a long cardigan in a great color by anthro at the bins sure I uh, my bins are 349 a pound which is very expensive so I'm trying to be careful with heavy things like that these I got for my son I've been finding him lots of pants at the bins which as a parent I am very excited about <laughs> These are Talbots and they're a size 14, the relaxed Chino. I love Talbots in larger sizes. Come on, focus, there we go, Talbots. And I, I love, this is a newer piece where they're putting the name. And these are pink, size 14 pink Chinos. These are perfect for right now. I always think of like East Coast Preppy when I see the pink, you know, Nantucket and all that. These are cabbie and they're an awesome style. Are you guys still picking up cabbie? Let me know in the comments. Cabbie. I used to pick everything up by this brand, but I feel like the market really slowed down. But these are so cool. They're a wide leg pants, almost like a denim. They're lyocell and cotton. I was looking for the size. Did you guys see? Oh, size six. Bummer, won't fit me. But they're like a striped jean, wide leg jean really cool colors like rust and green on an ivory wide leg pants are very popular right now i have some more talbots this is a medium and i just love the print on it look at that print isn't that gorgeous like a floral print it's a button front but then it's got all this ruffle detail and it's in just gorgeous condition i love a good ruffle on something this is a baby dress. If you don't know, some baby clothes are, are very value, are valuable. You know, they're expensive. And vintage baby dresses, there's a real market for vintage baby dresses. I'm not 100% positive if this one's vintage, but it has that look. It's by Samara. It's a size 2T. It's corduroy. And look at this exaggerated embroidered collar. If I'm going to do baby stuff, I like it to be an item I can sell for like $12 on its own. So things like Tea Collection, Mini Bowden, Hannah Anderson. There's brands I'll pick up and it's just one piece I know I can make 12 or 15 bucks. If it's not that, I will lot it up. And I make these boxes. I lot them up on Poshmark. So I'll take a five pound box, fill it with baby clothes around the same size. And I list them for 25 bucks and they sell. This is just a Rolling Stones graphic tee. Cute, right? This is a Tommy Bahama women's sweater in a size large. So it's a decent brand. It's a size large. And it's like a pink tunic sweater. Ribbed scoop neck. This looks like a dolman. 
So it's like wide at the chest with the narrow arms. You can choose the Dolman, D-O-L-M-A-N, sleeve type on eBay. Oh, I'm doing great going fast, you guys. I'm like flying through, so this is good. I'll be able to get through. I didn't get as much this time. This is my saddest find of the day. I think this is vintage dress made in Italy. You know what I always say, anything made in Italy, I'm usually picking it up. It's got Euro sizing. Look at the embroidery work on this. Absolutely stunning, but the zipper is completely, like needs to be replaced. And I don't have like a tailor or anything like that, so I'm gonna put it back. Look how gorgeous this is, but the zipper's, um, it's our friend Renee who's gonna say she doesn't wanna be on camera, but sorry. Um, the zipper is broken. My new best, my new bestie, my new reselling bestie. Isn't that gorgeous? But the zipper needs to be totally replaced, and the truth is, I won't do it. I don't have a seamstress or anything. Is it staying in the bin? Yeah, so sad. I'm gonna stay for one more round. <laughs> Renee and I are just laughing about the stuff you find at the bins. Here we go. Oh, look, it's next to a pair of underwear. That is just too much for me. That's a really good note to kind of leave the bins on. Ooh. Yes, because look at them. They've been repaired. They've been repaired, and I would still get them if they've been repaired, but that is like repaired beyond. Okay, what's wrong with this amazing Garnet Hill dress? It's got to be something. Either no one knows the brand, or I'm going to find like a giant hole in it. So I wouldn't mind leaving with this. Hmm. Huh. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm just so curious to see why Goodwill had these marked up to $12 in their special section. What do we think they are? Oh, they're G-Star Raw. That's pretty good, but look. It's like staining there. So this is a bird print thing I can't wait to check out. And I've owned this top before. Little soft surroundings embroidered top. Let's see what else we can find. Time. Um, okay, these are Talbot size 16. Talbot's plus size have been doing so great for me. And these are like a chiffon wide leg pants. So these are a little dressier. They might be dress pants or work pants. Nice wide leg on those. All right, let's get into the huge Ikea bag. That was a smaller bag. All right, this is another chenille sweater. I just love chenille, do you guys? This is a chunky knit. It's so soft and like velvety. This looks new, it's by Love Stitch. It's a size medium, chunky, chenille, oversized sweater and like a taupe brown with a stripe. It feels so great. Like I would love to throw that sweater on with some jeans. Some more linen. These are Ann Taylor Loft and they're a size 14. So that's great, larger sizes. Sometimes I'll pick up brands that aren't that amazing like Loft. There we go, Ann Taylor Loft size 14. Um, these are a linen, kind of like a jogger. Cause it goes down to a tapered leg and it has a little cuff there. These might be like a linen, these feel amazing. Linen Lyocell or something. 22 linen. 78 rayon. These just feel amazing. Perfect for right now. I love those. Hope I don't try them on because then you know how that story goes. <laughs> what is this? I do not even remember picking you up. Oh, this is a Bolo brand for sure. The brand is Faraday. It could be Faraday. Faraday. I've only found this a few times. It always sells great. This does have a bit of a flaw, but I was not leaving this brand behind at the bins. It's so nice too. It's like a blue long sleeve hooded shirt. And there's a little piece of tape here, which I think someone put to let us know that there's a little stain on the front. So I'm putting this in my stain pile. Everybody always asks about my favorite stain treating formula. And it's simply, 
I get it like a yogurt container. I squirt in some blue Dawn dish liquid. It has to be blue. Okay, something about that particular. And then hydrogen peroxide and then baking soda. I do not know exactly what the mix is supposed to be. I just mix it together and it seems to do fine. I make like a paste. I plop it on the stain and I leave it there for 24 hours and I wash it regularly. And I feel like that it gets out almost everything. It just works so well for me. This I bought for style. The brand is Daily Ritual and it's new with tag. Daily Ritual. Look at the sleeve though. This puff sleeve, anything sleeve is so popular. It's white with black stripes and it ha it's new. So that puff sleeve, I just love it. This is a brand to definitely keep your eye out for. Maybe not this particular piece because it's just a tank top, but the brand is packed and it's an eco-friendly because this is 95% organic cotton, P-A-C-T, packed. Everything I have listed from this brand has sold and sold fast. I just learned about it this year. This is a sweet little tank top printed with a little lace trim. So for a tank top, you just can't get that much money for a simple tank top, but you know, maybe I can pull 15 bucks out of that and that's fine with me, but I've sold the pants, I've sold a hoodie, um, it's like kind of a hot brand. This I got because it's plus size and it's new with tags. Jones wear and it's a 20W and it's a black chiffony midi skirt. I would not have gotten this if it wasn't new with tags and a plus size because Jones New York is just like a ho-hum brand. This is a linen tunic and it's a 3X. This is Caslon. Caslon is sold at Nordstrom Rack, I believe. And I bought this because it's a 3X, it's linen, and it's just on point style-wise, you know? It's like a linen tunic, so nice. If that was my size, it would be staying here. Cause I'm a bad reseller and I keep everything. Bad habit, don't follow my example. Absolutely love this, the woman next to me threw it to me. And it's fun, like the more I go, I see the same people and I start learning what other people sell and what they're looking for, who's doing vintage, who's doing all the Y2K 90s stuff. You know, it's kind of fun. This is Zara. Zara is fast fashion, but I feel like it's higher quality than like Forever 21 and Shein and all that. So if it's a cool piece, I'll pick it up. Check this out. So perfect, right? It's like a striped peasant top and it has all this embroidery and tassels. Oh, so this style top I call a peasant top and I put it in my title and description. If it's like a loose top, usually has this kind of v-neck and like a balloon sleeve, it's kind of hippie boho -y. it's a peasant top. Look at all this embroidery and everything. This looks quite large. It says USA small. Small what? Small elephant? <laughs> This doesn't look small. Like, does this look small? I don't know. So when I have a situation like that, I put that in my title and description. So I'll list it the way it is and then I'll note very clearly, this says it's a size small, but it's oversized. Here are the measurements. Or this says it's an XL, but to me it looks very small. Check the measurements. I just put that in there. This is a free people linen bag. I use those all the time when I travel. I'll put like my bathing suit tops all in the bag or something. This is a new to me brand, but comps looked pretty good, Frank and Oak. I don't know much about the brand, so I just did a quick look up. I cannot look up everything at the bins, obviously it'd be way too much work. These are a straight leg linen-y black pants, like a tapered leg linen-y, I think they're linen, Frank and Oak. Tencel and linen, really good fabric there. So this might be a brand Frank and Oak to keep your eye out for. Um, they just look nice and they are really nice if they're linen and Tencel. This is a designer brand, new to me. I only knew to grab this because it felt good. That was like my first clue. Like, oh, this feels, it's a waffly knit sweater. And then the tag looked interesting. Remus Uomo jeans. Have you guys heard of it? Uh, let's give my camera a second to focus that for us. So annoying. 
There we go. Um, all the comps on items from this brand were like $100. So I this looks new. It's just a sweater. But um, all the comps were like, whoa, I was just scrolling down the solds. And I'm like, so I have to do some more research on that. That was just a quick look up in the store. But this I didn't look up. Liz Cohello because I liked it so much and I thought maybe I'm gonna keep it anyway. It's a medium denim jacket, but it's animal print. Now I'm bad with the animal prints, like this could be cheetah, it could be leopard, I don't really know, but it's cropped too. So I've kind of been on the hunt for a cropped denim jacket myself. So I don't know if I can pull this off or not. What do we think? I don't know. But I really like it. And it's not that heavy for denim. It's probably a pound. It's not like a super heavy one. This, I think, was probably a really good pickup. Let me know what you guys think. This is Vintage Eddie Bauer. And it's a wool sweater. But it's one of these, okay? These vintage sweaters. It's a cardigan. And it has the special buttons. Kind of reminds me of, like, Dale of Norway or Irish wool sweaters vintage to the vintage tag hopefully it doesn't have flaws it was just made so well and then it's got the button so this is one of these items that i will list very high and then um wait for the right buyer on this is an athletic dress by fabletics and believe it or not that rip tag hang tag is still there it's, it's never there, so this must be relatively new. There's the Fabletics logo. Size large um, athletic dress. I think, does it have built-in shorts? Yeah, it does. Actually, I might try this baby on. This seems like, look at it, it has like a full-on uh, little romper in there. That's cool. I have owned this top. I have sold this top. This is soft surroundings in a size medium. And it's a heavily embroidered boho, like, t-shirt. Wait till I steam this up and put it on my mannequin. It's going to look so good. But it has this kind of distressed looking all over embroidery. I love my embroidery, don't I? Okay. This I got, it's plus size. That's why it's Ava and Viv, which is just Target but it's a 4X. This is a Target brand, so probably didn't retail for a ton, but it's either a top or a little dress, I guess, depending on your size and height. Maybe a little dress, it comes down below my knees. Just a little button down dress. I rarely find 4X. This is a, I guess I did get some good stuff. <laughs> I have to stop being like, there's no, I didn't get enough stuff. I didn't get an, because I didn't get anything that is like, absolutely amazing. I got some really good brands in here, but nothing like mind-blowing. This is Girlfriend Collective, which I just like so much. They're an eco-friendly brand too. Girlfriend Collective. I just found leggings there last time. And this is a little sports bra in a size medium. This must be popular now, like the zip front. I'm seeing a lot of these zip front sports bras. These is something linen. What a surprise, Quimby. <laughs> oh, I got this. I don't know this brand. It just looked so nice. In trend. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But it's like a little uh, linen sheath dress or kind of a fit and flare. And it has pockets. I don't know. It's so sweet in that kind of neutral. It's got pockets. Yep. Yeah little neutral color. This I got because of his bird print, okay? <laughs> I love a good print, do you guys? Look at the birds. It's a little micro pleat skirt with a bird print. I don't know this brand. The brand is, I don't even know what this says. M-M-E collection? I can't even tell you, like, I have no idea what this is. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it, but, like, novelty prints have always done really well for me. So cute. 
Oh, this is a maxi dress. Maxi dresses sell well. This is Max Studio, which I think is sold at um, Macy's and those kind of department stores. It's a size large. And I really love the stuff they make, but I don't buy it often because it's just not, um, it just doesn't have such a great sell sell through, but um, this is a long maxi dress. So I'll make an exception sometimes for a long maxi at this time of year. It's a good one. Oh, I found my favorite, J. Jill, and it's love linen, and it's an extra large. So that is absolutely fantastic. I love J. Jill. Their love linen line does extremely well, and size XL is like what I'm looking for. This was at Goodwill because it has the little tag. I don't know what sweaters are at Goodwill right now. I think they're $7.99, but this is a linen purple open cardigan. I'm gonna list that for like $35. Oh, I love these. I don't remember getting them, but I love them. Oh, J. Jill again, size 12. It's an older J. Jill tag, but that's funny because these are totally on trend again. These are um, like a jogger pant in an olive green, but they have like a subtle embossed floral print and they have ankle ties and they're a size 12. Those are awesome. Okay, we're getting down to it. You guys are the best, best, best for staying with me. This is a little new with tag by Nasty Gal, US size six, denim overall dress. That's a lot of info and keywords, huh? A little denim overall dress. At first I thought they were overalls, but it is a skirt, but that's trendy, so someone will want it. This I think is so cute. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it's like a, a wrap dress style with smocking at the waist, really cool color. And um, the brand is Green Dragon, made in California. It's got a really cool tag. So I don't know. I think it's neat. It's kind of a muted color. Look at that flare sleeve. So that's good. All right, what's these last few things I have in here? Oh, I bought these shoes because they look new. Look at the bottoms of these. They're soft, S-O-F-F-T, which is like a comfort brand, kind of like Clark's or Dance Go or one of those. They're just a little brown slide. This is what I like to get, a shoe like this that looks like it's never been worn, so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> okay, these are a nine and a half, so a good size. They don't weigh a pound, so I'm willing to pick those up. Okay, I'm gonna end with some, um, I don't know what those are. I'm gonna end with some American Eagle, which I do not pick up very much anymore but these are um, American Eagle and they're a size 16 and they're the mom straight jeans. So factors are, they're a very trendy style, mom, mom straight jean. They're corduroy, which is very popular right now and they're a 16. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna pick those up. I thought they were men's at first and men's still does pretty well for me, but um, I, they're just a, mo a mom style or boyfriend style. And then finally, these are Polar Tech. These are silk, those silk, um, silk weight, long john sort of things that everyone needs in the winter. There we go. I made it through the entire haul in one video. I hope that pleases you. Everyone says I hope that pleases you. Oh my God. I hope you liked it because you've been asking for the long hauls. I appreciate you so much being here. Thank you for your supportive comments. I read every one. And I hope you're having a fantastic day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Okay, I'm actually at the bins now. That other little clip, clip was in my driveway. <laughs> Wasn't Petey so cute? He's been in some videos before. Um. Anyway, so I'm here at 8 27 the place does not open until 9. Quemby why are you showing up 30 minutes early to the bins? There's already a line out there that's why and they have limited carts at this bins so you have to like get in line early get a cart run put the cart up against the wall because you can't have it on the floor here and then then I'm good. Now if they only had a bathroom I would be in really good shape because I can only stay here a couple hours. Anyway, here we are at the bins, at the line. I'll try and get some footage in there for you. 
I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, here we go. Yo, go yo. Is it possible to make a video where you're not reaching in some weird angle? It might be possible. Okay, friends, I am home from the Goodwill at the bins. I refuse to look down at the camera. I feel like it's almost tilted. Oh, God. Why is this so hard? Do I need to get the yoga hammock in there? Not necessarily. Wait, up. Elevator going up. Down. There's not really any way to get that out of the picture, is there? Guess not. I don't know, guys. What do you think? People have made comments like, is that coffee? It's so light. I put heavy cream in it and I have to water it down because I love coffee, but it's not the best for me because it makes me a little jittery, but I love it. <laughs> God, why won't you focus? Focus, focus. If I talk to my camera, maybe it's gonna help. No, I probably shouldn't say that because I'm not trying to say, I'm not calling anyone. It's my chubby tummy hanging out. That'd be great.